it. As has been presented by the keynote speaker, that there are provisions in our number of laws, number of statutes about the mediation, about the alternative dispute resolution. Alternative dispute resolution means and includes not only the arbitration, it also means and includes mediation, reconciliation, and arbitration. From today's uh, discussion of the panelists, I understand that they are mainly focusing on arbitration because uh, understandably here we are discussing the issues, uh, commercial disputes to entrepreneurs and the one banker is here. So, so th they are highlighting the commercial disputes. The disputes which are arising out of contract. But there are number of Sorry, uh, I got disconnected. Uh, probably I was continuing, but uh, the viewers are not listening probably. So was, what I was telling is that uh, the main obstacle for speedy and quick disposal of uh, cases, from my experience, I can see is the procedural law. It may be with regard to Arthurian case, it may be with regard to the NI Act cases, that is check cases with uh, checks. But today, the speakers mainly focused on arbitration, that is uh, arising out of commercial di dispute. When there is a contract between the businessman between two parties and if there is a provision in the contract then you can approach you can uh, approach the court for formation of a tribunal or on your own you can constitute a tribunal but the number of uh, dispute arising out of a contract is very insignificant in comparison with uh, other commercial disputes like uh, the dispute with the bank customer with its banker, the dispute with a business person with other business person keeping the check as a guarantee. 
if I'm not mistaken, I have taken a uh, information from uh, Dhaka court that there are as many as 64,000 cases pending regarding checks that is under negotiable, negotiable instrument act. So if the business leaders who are present today in this uh, digital dialogue, that is the president of VGME and the president of uh, Dhaka Chambers of Commerce Industry and also Mr. Arfan Ali, who is a, a, a prominent banker. If they take an initiative to approach the legislature, that there should be a provision in the Negotiable Instrument Act to make it compoundable. You see, in India, they have updated this law long ago. So if uh, you take an initiative to incorporate this provision in the in NI Act, then the judiciary will be benefited a lot. 64,000 only in Dhaka court. There are 64 districts in this country. So imagine nearly 20 lakh cases regarding checks have, are pending in judiciary. So how you are going to reduce the burden of the judiciary. If you increase the uh, gases number hundred times, then the judiciary will not be able to reduce its back. So I would hope on one issue. The issue is negotiable act. The bankers are also filing cases under negotiable instrument act. So if you make this compoundable, the uh, Courts can take an initiative trial court, but uh, the higher courts as well. So I, I'm giving you the number of cases only of the trial courts. Then whenever any party is aggrieved by the order of the trial court, they approach the high court, then appellate division. So again, the provisions which have been incorporated in the Arthur in that is uh, uh, section 20 to 25, uh, it has in fact, made a sort of cumbersome provisions, the rigid provision. The judge should uh, be vested with some discretionary power, more discretionary power to deal with the situations. To this end, I would uh, refer the law of uh, India. The name of the law is uh, Lok the Legal, Auth Legal Service Authority Act, 1987. By that law, the Indian legislature have uh, given power to the judges that they can directly intervene with the dispute. Whenever a case is filed, that may be a case with regard to authoring or with regard to NI Act or with regard to normal contract. And thereafter, whenever the other party appears before the court, the judge takes a position that I will ask both the parties to mediate or to resolve it amicably.
So by that act, the judge has been given a power to direct to directly intervene in the matter. That is uh, by ignoring the system of adversarial system. Our judiciary, not only our judiciary, most of the judiciary of the subcontinent are conducting their cases on the basis of adversarial system. Although there is no mentioning in any law of this expression adversarial system, but the procedural law makes us adversarial system. So I would ask this uh, business, the leaders of the business community to approach the legislature to enact these types of law by which the judge can directly intervene into these disputes. So it's a uh, vast topics, alternative dispute resolution means uh, not only arbitration, mediation and reconciliation as well. So it, it would take long time. I think I'm running out of time. So uh, I'd only hope that uh, the competent business leaders 